Hi everybody, Cam Sweet here from the Garage Connection and uh, Central Digger Supply. Coming to you with probably the most important video that I have made to date. Uh, we have we've identified the source of a lot of headache uh, with these hydraulic fittings, and we're going to talk briefly about what's going on and what we think we can do to remedy it. So, as you can see here, uh, what I've done is I've drawn essentially a table of the hydraulic fittings that exist on most of these, you know, 10 series, 12 series, 15, even the 18 series uh, mini excavators. So we're going to go through this and then I'm going to talk about really the, the, the big issue with, with what we found. So if you didn't know, DIN fittings, DIN fittings are fairly easy to identify uh, and, and these machines use them. Okay, they almost strictly use DIN fittings, uh, with the exception of a couple of parts here and there. Basically, the whole machine is, is DIN fittings. So when you're looking at a DIN fitting or you're looking at your hoses, you're trying to figure out what size the thing is, there's really some categories they fall into. The first part of it is going to be the series, so high pressure, low pressure, and that's signified with a letter. So S, L, double L. Um, our machines use L series, all right? The next part that's very important is the size of the fitting. Okay, now DIN numbers, they go 8, 10, 12, 15, 18, and, and then they go down even higher than that. They go 30 and all these other numbers. But the ones that we deal with are basically from 8 to about 18. All right. So the way to identify what the thread is, is you got to either know the tube size, which on these machines, they don't use much tube. So then you got to go to measuring the threads. So your L8s and your L10s, that's going to be your cylinder supply lines and your aux hydraulics supply lines, okay? On an L8 or an L08, the thread OD is M14 by 1.5. That's what it is. If you put a caliper across it, it's going to measure right about 14 millimeters, give or take. Um, and the hex nut that is used to tighten that fitting is a 17 millimeter. This is why on my website, what I choose to do is just go off the hex nut size because it's easier to ask somebody what size wrench fits the fitting than it is to ask people to measure threads and all this other stuff. So these two are really what exists on your machine, all right? So if you have like a QH12 or an FF12 or an H15, you've got an L10 for your aux hydraulics and then everything else is L8, your swivel motor cylinders, wheel drive motors, everything's that L8 series. Now, once we get past kind of the, the cylinder supply side of it, and this is going to be L12s is like your half inch lines on your uh, like two tons, three tons, somewhere around there. They're going to use L12 fittings. When we get down to the bottom here, now we're talking about suction and discharge coming off the hydraulic tank, the pump, uh, going to your DCV body, that's all, that's all kind of down here. So two of the most common sizes that you're going to find is the 15 and the 18, okay? The 15, that's your H12. Everything on an H12 is L15. So coming off the bottom of the tank, to the pump, out of the pump, to the valve body, out of the valve body, into the tank again, it's all 15, all right? And the thread for that happens to be an M22 by 1.5 and it takes a 27 millimeter wrench so this is very normal you can find this information anywhere any any uh, hydraulics company they have all this where it starts to go a little bit crazy is when it comes to the biggest size that we find on these machines and that's going to be an l18 all right now this is where this is where it gets weird so i have in my hand two sides of an L18, all right? So this happens to be three quarter inch uh, JIC or, or AN, and then this goes to an L18. So I don't know if you can make it out on the thing there. Can you see how it says L18 right there? So because this is an American fitting, usually they stamp the, the series number on there. So if we go off of our table, we can identify the fact that an 18 has an M26 by 1.5 thread. 
So if I took a caliper, which I'm going to do, and I go across it, the OD of the threads is, yeah, 25.8 millimeters. So it's 26, okay? So you would think that every machine that's coming out with a L18 is going to be an M26 by 1.5. And this is what I bought a bunch of fittings for because why wouldn't it be, right? So I started selling H15 kits, the early ones, and I got a couple of people reached out and says, hey, the fittings don't fit, right? Well, I knew that I had done my homework, so I knew I had the right size fittings. So we worked around some creative solutions until I was able to get down here to Florida and, and get my H15 and see what's going on. So lo and behold, I, I you know bring my machine out and I go to thread the fitting that I know should fit and it don't fit. I said, that's kind of weird. So we were looking at the possibility that maybe it's an oddball uh, manufacturer. Maybe they cut the threads too big. Um, and it wasn't until I actually ordered two dies that were the, the sizes. I, I ordered an M26 die and an M27 die. And the 27 fit. And I thought that was kind of weird because if you look up any hydraulics website, it will tell you that that's an M26 thread. So this is where the plot thickens. So I went through every hydraulics company here in the States and in Europe. And every single one of them lists an L18 hydraulic fitting as M26 by 1.5 thread. There are no exceptions at all. I said, okay, well, we're definitely not using those fittings. So then I looked through a hydraulics catalog for China, and I found something very, very interesting. Only when they're talking about crimp fittings that you can actually put on the ends of your hose, they list two 18L or L18 sizes, an M26 and an M27. Well, that's kind of weird. It gets even weirder. When you look in the same, remember, same company, same catalog, it's like 230 some pages long. You look in that and you look for all the adapters. So if I wanted to go from an L18 to a, let's say, British pipe thread, and they only list the M26. Well, that's weird. Then you go to any of the other types of crimp fittings out there. So the one piece ones, the reusable ones, and they only list an M26. So what we figured out is, for some reason, some of the manufacturers, basically the H15s and some of the oddball uh, QH12s or just 12s, ones that don't actually have uh, letters in front of them, for some reason they chose to use that weird oddball M27 threaded hydraulic fitting. All right? Here's the bad part. We can't get the adapters. No, I just can't get them. They don't exist. Nobody makes an M27 by 1.5 DIN 18 fitting at all. They only make the hose ends. Why on earth you would just want hose ends to connect to something you can't connect to, I have no idea. But that's the story. All right. So, how are we going to get around this? Well, obviously, I don't have the equipment to manufacture custom hose fittings, all right? So that's step number one is to get past that. I also don't expect everybody to cut their fitting off of their hydraulic tank and weld in a normal M26 threaded fitting. That's a little ridiculous. So what we have to do is we have to work around the problem. So what I chose to do is we're going to leave that fitting alone and we're going to leave that end of the return line alone. So we don't disturb that weird fitting at all. Okay. So what we're choosing to do is to interrupt the hose prior to that, that section where it's a more normal thread. So on my H15, I identified that out of the valve body on the return side, it's actually a 15. And I can work with that all day long. Can't work with that. All right. So... You guys that have these machines that are, are really not paying attention to what your hoses are doing, the chafing and stuff like that, just know when you chafe through that return line, you're not going to be able to find one. All right, I bought 
like 50 of those fittings to just have on the shelf just in case. Because uh, inevitably, I know what's going to happen. Somebody's going to break one and then they're going to say, I can't find this. And, and they're right. You can't find it. So, yeah, that's, that's weird. That sucks. But uh, at least we've identified what the source of the issue is because not knowing was, was really keeping me up at night and I needed to get to the bottom of, of what's going on. And that's it. So, you know, option two is we just all at once just tell them all, hey, use normal size 18 series fittings. And then the problem goes away. Or I learn how to cut threads on my lathe. Either one. So for now, that's going to do it. Uh, Cam Sweet here from the Garage Connection and Central Digger Supply. I hope this helps you out. You stay on those projects. I'm going to stay on this one.